Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between Matt Hughes and the UFC Hall of Famer, BJ Penn. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and two draws. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hilo, Hawaii, presenting the challenger, the prodigy, BJ. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 45 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hillsborough, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, man. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, go ahead. Just slammed his 
his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him like a baby. If you can pick a guy up off his feet, it's so discouraging for men that are used to being the alphas in all situations. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Penn's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes through. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My guy. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Karate J. New UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion.